Hello. We look into what is uh, CSS jQuery extractor next. I am just going to look into uh, specifying a CSS uh, extractor for this session. So here what I have done is uh, I have created a test plan. Under that test plan I have created a thread group with one threads. The ramp up period is one and the loop count is also one. Under that there is a HTTP request where I have specified the google.com site uh, and the protocol is HTTPS. Under that I have put this CSS jQuery extractor. How you do that is right click on the HTTP request, add post processor and CSS jQuery extractor. This is the way I have added it here. Let's look into what goes into the CSS jQuery extractor. This one is the name CSS jQuery extractor. You can give any name. You can give any comments. Now this test applies only to the main sample. CSS jQuery extractor implementation. This is optional. You can select it or not select it. The reference name is a variable in which uh, which will appear in the response and which will be populated with whatever attribute we give over here and this attribute will be validated against the CSS element specified over here. So it will check for this case it will check whether autocomplete is on or off for an input element with the name of Q. This is for Google website in which the search uh, text box has the name of Q. In case a match is found then I have put a 1 over here you can put a 0 for random and the default value in case it is not found will be not underscore found. So let's run this and see how our results appear. Ok one more thing after that I have put a debug sampler this is necessary you specify the jmeter properties as false the jmeter variables as true and system properties as false and i have put a listener over here. view results tree you can put any any listener so i put my uh, cursor on view results tree i highlight that and i run this with one user with one uh, thread so it has run successfully now if you go into the HTTP request, you will find the HTTP request over here, the sample result request and response data for each. And the main thing is debug sampler in which we will get our data. The extracted result we will get into our debug sampler. So if we go back to our CSS jQuery extractor, we see that we had put a reference name as post over here. This is what gets populated. The post is equal to off. So our uh, test attribute was autocomplete. It was checking for whether autocomplete is on or off. In this case, it has come back with the result of off. So this is how we extract values using the CSS selector in CSS jQuery extractor post processor of JMeter. Thank you.